Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com and you join me today, Tuesday morning, which is a rarity because we are going to go over some swaps I received on the new celebration release items that you can get starting today. Yes, it's Happy Tuesday. Second release celebration. That's what's going on. So let me get logged in so I can see comments in case you guys have questions. I want to be able to see what is going on. You're getting a double dose of me today. That is for sure a double dose. So I'm waiting for a couple of people to jump on. Hi, everybody. Listen, today is the first day that many of you have been waiting for but because a second release is coming out, has come out today for our celebration items, the items that you can earn for free with a qualifying order. There are $50 choices and there are $100 choices and there is no limit. And because this um, new set of items, there's five different items and three of them are $50 choices and two or one hundred dollar choices and because these items uh, will only be here for a very short period of time from today march 3rd through march 31st with a big caveat here while supplies last or while supplies last okay so just because it says march 31st on celebration items if they sell out before then they're gone so if it's something that's uh, going to tickle your fancy you're going to want to get it because you don't want them to be gone you do not want them to be gone so i i've tried to be very organized today so let's just get busy i'm going to uh flip you down I'm going to show you the hostess code first for the month of March. It's a spring PDF. So let me do that real quick. So hold on to your drawers. You guys know the drill. Let me get you all set up here. We'll see how that looks. Let me give you just a second to write that hostess code down. So with an order of $40 to $149.99, if you put in this hostess code for March, TY7CQ7BW, then I will email you my customer appreciation for the month of March, which is a spring PDF. It's very, very pretty. Got lots of good things. Hi, everybody that's jumped on. Thanks for joining me. You're getting a double dip of me today. So I'm leaving that there just for a second. And of course, this will be, uh, this video will remain. On my Facebook page, so you can go back and rewind it on the replay if you need to get that hostess code. So, because you're going to get a double dip of me today, this is what we're doing tonight. My version of this Be As Bold As Your Lipstick. And you guys know that's a pen, it's an ink pen, yes. But I came up with what I think is a super easy way to do it. And we're going to be making a version of that tonight. Do you love it? Do you love it? It's dress to impress. So you might want to be thinking about the dress to impress when you place your order. Getting that stamp set. And this is the gorgeous uh, designer series paper. So here's the dress to impress. And you can get this in a bundle. Okay. So you can cut all the little elements out. <coughs> yeah. That's what we're going to be playing with tonight. So, I wanted to show you that. Hello, everybody from all over. Glad to see you. So, well, let's see. I need to zoom out just a wee bit here. Let me do that so you guys can see what is going on. Give me one second. I want you to be able to see. That looks pretty good. My coloring's pretty good. All right. And there's going to be a glare. I'm sorry for that, but it's just hard when it shines on things. So let me move this over here so I can see. So this is the second release of the brochure. It is on my blog today. You can click on the post for today to open up this brochure and look at it at your leisure. I have also emailed all of my customers this brochure this morning. So check your email. 
you will have the brochure there as well. Thanks for spreading the moves, you guys. If you have questions, I'm going to be looking up to uh, answer your questions. So let's get started. As with all the celebration items, you've got items that you can select if your purchase is $50 before tax and shipping and items that you can select if it's $100 before tax and shipping, all right? If your order is $100 before tax and shipping, you may want to get two $50 items. There is no maximum. You can, whatever, however you want to uh, choose your celebration items, you can do that. If your order is $150 or more, do not put the hostess code in. I'm still going to send you my customer appreciation for March. But if it's $150 or more, you could pick $100 item and $150 or $350. And in addition to that, you are going to earn your Stampin' Rewards. So you're going to earn $15 more of free product right then and there to, to uh, pick. Okay? And there seems to be some confusion. Do you have to get the host sets when you use Stampin' Rewards? No. That's the only time you can get the host sets is with Stampin' Rewards. But you can go pick anything else that you want out of the annual catalog, mini catalog, clearance rack. You can spend your Stampin' Rewards however you want. And that's another thing. To earn these celebration items, you can order from anything. Any way you get to $50, if you pick something from the annual, something from the clearance, or all, everything from the clearance, you mix and match it however you want. Once it says your total is $50, you're good to pick a celebration item. All right? So we're going to talk about the catalog really quickly. Then we're going to get to the cards. So the first selection is Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series Paper. Now this says these are rose gold and silver foil designs. And I will tell you they look more copper. and uh, But they are gorgeous. And I'm going to show you a lot of the cards have those on them today. So you get uh, 12 sheets. Three of each design or three each of four single-sided designs. So you're going to get three of four different designs. These are one-sided sheets of foil. Okay, so the back is white and these foils have the gold and uh, well, they're calling it rose gold, which is more like a copper and the silver foil. So $50 will get you that, all right? These are just showing you examples up here of how you can use them. Rise and Shine. The Rise and Shine is a hundred dollar set. Now this is one of our new reversible stamp sets. That means you can take this and it will flip. If you'll notice any one of our pictures, if it has a gray outline around it, that means it coordinates with a die set. So this is the die set that goes with these. It's called the Cup of Cheer and it carried over. And if you're interested, it's order number 151150. It's carried over from the holiday catalog. Now, as always, I have all five of the items listed in the description, and I've put the coordinating items in there too. So you might want to grab those coordinates. They qualify for a celebration item. So yes, so that, that shows you right here. There's a total of 15. These are reversible, these are reversible, these are reversible. How stinking cute. And this is with a $100 purchase. You can get these. Okay, and if you'll notice, our reversible stamps, they have this little emblem on it, and it says reversible. Hi, everybody. Thanks for spreading the news. Now, here we go. Well-dressed. Look at well-dressed. That's a $50 Perfect for masculine. And I will tell you that in the cards I'm going to show you in the swaps I participated in, my swap cards will not be in there because I actually have a post coming with my two swaps next week. And uh, I give you all the details on how to recreate those. But you know me. I love my masculine. Both of my swap cards are with the well-dressed stamp set. They're totally different. Okay, one's a Father's Day, one's a congratulations. It, either one of them could be turned into a happy birthday, but they are completely different, and they will be, uh, they are using the well-dressed, okay? Now we've got, that's a $50 item you can choose. Here's another $50 item. So Berry Vellum Specialty Designer Series Paper. Can you see all the dots? And this is in... Pool Party, Purple Posy, and Soft Sea Foam. Those are the colors. Pool Party, Purple Posy, and Soft Sea Foam. 
You're going to see a lot of that today in the cards that I'm going to share with you as well. Take a note up here. When you see these in the celebration catalogs, this doesn't mean you have to order these to get this. This is just an example of how you can use this product to make something. And it gives you the specifics on how they did it. So it's telling you to make these cards. This is what they used, all right? And because they purchased this, they qualified for this. But you can use that for your creativity or you can just... You know, you don't need to buy that to get this. You buy whatever you want. Tim is doing better today. Thank you for asking. He is doing much better. Okay, and then the last item is the Tags in Bloom stamp set. This is a $100 requirement to receive this stamp set for free. Now, you noticed earlier I said if it had a gray outline around the stamps, that meant it coordinated with dyes. If it has the very vanilla color in the picture, that means it coordinates with punches, okay? So the tags in blooms coordinate with the Label Me Lovely punch and the Label Me Fancy punch that are on page 41 of the new catalog, all right? Page 41, Label Me Lovely punch, Label Me Fancy punch. They coordinate with these. So if you don't have those, I've also listed those up in the top as well. And once again, here's just another grouping of examples that shows you what you could do with this. But I'm going to give you lots of inspirations today. And I will tell you tomorrow's blog post will be the pictures of everything that I show you today. Because we'll go through them relatively fast today. But you will be able to look at them at your leisure tomorrow and see if you would like to recreate them. Now in the back of the brochure, they have all of the items listed, but we know the Kerchief Card Kit is sold out. The Metallic Baker's Twine Combo Pack is sold out. So the same thing can happen with these new items because you know now we have less than a month and everyone's gonna be snagging the new items up. If there's something that you want, Make sure you take advantage of it, okay? Who's ready to see some beautiful cards? Thanks for spreading the news. All right, right off, let's start off with the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to see this paper smattered throughout the cards. I could actually have put many of these cards in different groupings because they have multiple things. And that's simply to show you how versatile these items are. They will obviously work beautifully with other stamp sets, other colors, but we all just tried to just showcase them as much as possible. Had to get myself a drink of root beer. Okay, check this out. This is the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper, one of them. They have colored this, and you can color these with your stamp and write markers. You can color them with your sponges. You can color them with your... Uh, Stampin' Blends, all kinds of ways. And this is using um, Purple Posy. And just, there's a glue dot stuck on there. Get off there. Just in case you guys didn't know, yes, we don't have, okay, that's going to, you guys know me. We do not have the Purple Posy ink because it can never come together correctly with a formula. But you can use the Highland Heather ink if you use a very light hand and it pairs beautifully. Okay? Beautifully, beautifully. So there's one. Here's another one with the flowering foils. It's a different picture. This one, it looks to me like what they've done is they may have used their sponge brayer to go across the ink. And because that's foil, you can just take a rag or a paper towel and buff it off and that foil is going to shine through. It won't shine through on your blends. It will on your stamp and Write markers. Check this card out. Isn't that cute? They've cut the top off. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. And you know, you know this girl loves her some purple. So here's another one. See how they've colored this one differently? This one looks like, um, I'm going to go with that's mint macaron. Could be, yeah, that's mint macaron that they've used to color that in. So, so pretty. And that's just crumb cake base. Simple, but beautiful. 
So you're seeing all these different creations. Here's a super simple one where really they just use the foil. They use the stitch so sweetly, or stitch so softly dies. And if you notice this, this is the uh, stone 3D embossing folder. That's a, another one of the choices right now. It comes with the stamp set in celebration. It's a hundred dollar choice, but you get the stamp set and the stone 3D embossing folder. This one's done in, it looks like uh, Smoky Slate to me. Gorgeous! And you see this? This is that punch and that saying from the, um, doo -doo -doo, which one is it? That's our punch and sentiment from the Tags in Bloom. All right. So like I said, you're going to see a lot of crossover. And you know what? I did meant to, and let me go back. It's very important to me to make sure you understand who created these cards. And I will have that listed tomorrow. This beautiful card was created by Lynn Feldkamp. This one was created by Renee Conkey. Very talented ladies out there, and I want them to have credit. This one was created by Renee Conkey as well. And this beauty, Lynn Feldkamp. A lot of us did two swaps. And then this one here, you see how this looks so good with the bronze? Can you see that? Oh, I love the hearts. It's a fancy fold. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this was created by France Martin. Okay? So, yeah, love, love, love. So, you can see how you can use, even though it says rose gold, if you, depends on what you pair it with, the color to the color that it's going to pull more to, whether it's copper or the rose gold. Love it. Gorgeous. So, that's the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper. Now we're going to move on to the Rise and Shine. <coughs> now remember, this pairs with the Cup of Cheers dies. Isn't that beautiful? This is one of the Designer Series papers. So stinking cute. This is Kelly Atchison's card. Love it. She's used the dies to cut it out. This is Marissa Alvarez. See how she flipped it because it's the reversible? That's the end color there. That's terracotta tile on that cotton ribbon. Mm, love the combination. This is Susie Wood's card. You know this neutrals girl's eating this one up. Eating it up, eating it up. I love the heart. I know. Amazing creations here you guys look how she used the tag topper just a strip of the uh, designer series paper she cut this out popped in some red yeah on that soft suede love it awesome barb mulliken created this one this is a simple card she just did the cup cut it out with her dies Put the steam coming off on the back. Love that idea. Let's hang out soon. Adorable. Here's another version of the Let's Hang Out Soon. Look at that. That's that tropical weave embossing folder that we've got right now. See how she used two of the different stamps? One to the left, one to the right. Put some of the little burlap on there. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? Are you liking? I'm liking the hearts. Here's another one. This one is by Angie Leach. This one, she just, she didn't even use the dies. So you don't have to have the dies. She used the stitch so softly. Uh, rectangles. There, see, she's taken and she's colored this in. See how that's colored? This is the Pretty Peacock. Her, she stamped her image in Pretty Peacock. And looks like she went ahead and stamped her tag, but then she just fussy cut that out, I can tell. So you can give it 
everything you got or you can go simple and they are still adorable cards and last but not least this is Jessica Brigdon's look how simple that is she took a piece of the designer series paper the flourishing foils she has looks like she sponged that to me with Rococo Rose put the ribbon on there she just die cut the coffee cup and then stamped in Rococo Rose on that. I love that saying. You've got this, but first coffee. Hello. Can you relate? So that's the Rise and Shine choice. So with a $100 order, you can select that. Thank you, Doke. Now let's move on to the well dressed. Eek. Get ready. They are very talented. I will agree with you, Marty. Look at that. There's that stone 3D embossing folder again. This is the uh, Country Clubhouse Designer Series paper. She's used the hat from the well-dressed set. And she's used the umbrella from the well-dressed set. And look at that embellishment. Doesn't that just add a ton? Copper embellishment. Love this card. So fast. So simple. Yep. That was made by Janet Holmes. Janet Holmes. Laura Milligan. This is a simple one. But no less adorable. She used some of the Baker's Twine. Stamped everything in the Night of Navy. Just cut them out. And then this is uh, Sahara Sand. She took the stamp that's just kind of a pattern stamp that comes in the stamp set and put it behind for some texture. Popped up her Happy Father's Day greeting. Very cute. Laura Milligan created that one. The next one is by Marissa Alvarez. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. I don't know. I'm thinking this may, this here is from the uh, Clubhouse Designer Series paper. But what she's done is she's taken our uh, corrugated embossing folder and embossed just the top layer. See how she did that? There's the uh, Stitch So Sweetly dies. I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Love that version of that saying. Isn't it cute? Look, she put a little um, jewel there or a pearl. Make it look like a tie tack. Cute. The red really pops off that gray. Love it. Here's another one. The best of you has made the best of me. There's so many different sentiments you can use with this stamp set but you just can't go wrong and this is one of the designer series papers as well that's under here see all the different colors in it love it looks like she's done old olive looks like to me well she's cut this out i can feel it so she stamped this in old olive the tie and she went back and stamped it again in soft suede and cut just the collar out there you go you can see it and stamp these in soft suede love the trim we've got right now so that's Judy Garza Judy Garza created that I agree adorable check this one out who made this this one is Monica Jaberti See how she stamped everything just on one of her stitch squares? She used the um, Argyle 3D embossing folder, some of the golf, the clubhouse, country club, designer series paper. Super simple. Just did her greeting and popped it up on top, threw in a couple of pearls. Love, love, love the well-dressed. It's right up this girl's alley. And here's a brighter version. This is some of the uh, country club paper. 
with a great big wish for happiness. See how you can just use any of the sentiments you have. She's popped this layer up here. Use some of the twine and did it all in garden green to pull out the colors here. And last but not least, and you are going to squeal, check out this one. It looks like a shirt and it opens like this. She stamped the three hats here. She's literally, this is part of her card, then she's cut it off. She's just cut a section out of it and scored and folded that back. And then she's taken another section of, it, that looks like crumb cake to me, and run it through with the Argyle 3D embossing folder, cut a V in it, and stamped uh, the shirt up there, cut the tie out. Isn't that stinking adorable? I love it when people are geniuses. So cute. Who made that? Laura Bartow. Cute as can be. I know you guys are squealing over that one. So that is the well-dressed choice. Well-dressed you can get for $50, okay? So now let's talk about the Soberry Vellum. This is another $50 choice. I agree. Very creative, Marty. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? She's used the paper. And this looks like that is probably, I'm going to say, that is mint macaron. But this is the soft sea foam. See that vellum? Beautiful. And then this uh, Thanks die is from one of the die sets. Hmm. What die set? Well written. The well written die. So she's cut that out of silver. So see, she played off the silver instead of the copper on this one. And threw in some jewels. Gorgeous. Ruth Bingle created that. Here's a perfect example of all three of the vellum colors. The pool party. The Purple Posy and the Soft Sea Foam. Super simple basic card. Your smile brightens my day. Okay. This was made by Dina Rico. Super, super simple. But what an easy card to make. And what a wow factor with just that. That vellum does all the work for you. All right. Here's another one that kind of pulls in both the vellum and the tags in bloom see she's used the soft sea foam vellum here she's gone with uh, that's highland heather color do done some coloring she used one of the punches and uh punched through so she could see that you could see the sentiment so this one could really fall in either one of the categories either the so very vellum or the tags in bloom because the happiness looks gorgeous on you and the flowers comes from that. So this is $50. This set here is the $100. And that was created by Linda Bowen. Linda Bowen. This card was created by Karen Titus. Look at that. Simple and elegant. So she's fussy cut this flower out. Of the designer series paper, the Flowering Fools designer series paper. This is really light. So she may have went with the soft sea foam for this. This is lighter though. I'm going to say that that's probably mint macaron. Because this looks like mint macaron and then she's uh, put the soft sea foam there. You want to know how to do the, sh the shirt card? I'll put some details in that uh, post tomorrow. With where she made those cuts. You'll be able, it's really, once you see it, if you have the dimensions, you'll totally understand how it works. So I'll do that on tomorrow's post. Thinking of you, isn't that beautiful? Love these dies. Of course, this is from the, uh, oh, it's, my brain has gone out the window. Chime in here, you guys. Oh, why is it? The Peaceful Moments Bundle. These are the dies from the Peaceful Moments Bundle. Love it. But you see underneath there? 
Can you see? I don't want to tear up the card. She has cut out some of that purple posy vellum underneath. And then for the leaves, she's used the soft sea foam. It is gorgeous. All righty. So that is all the very vellum. So very vellum, which is a $50 choice. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the Tags in Bloom. This is a $100 choice. This one was made by Laurie Krause. This is some more of the Flowering Foils Designer Series paper. And it looks to me like she sponged that probably with a brayer. And that looks like that could probably be petal pink to me. See how she's stamped this? And then that's been fussy cut out. Done all of her coloring. You guys know that the camera just doesn't do them justice. Here is another one. This one was made by Ruth Bingle. Look at this. She has embossed this with gold, actually. The happy birthday that is part of uh that's part of the stamp set that this that these come in the bundle with but she's used the flower and fussy cut that out with the starburst eye and it looks like here if you look she's actually got a piece of white let's see if i can see i don't want to tear up the card she's got a piece of white vellum just a regular vellum on top of Some of this designer series paper. Well, I don't want to tear up the card. There you go. See there? That's the designer series paper. But it looks like it's petal pink because she's put the white vellum over the top of it and put this beautiful ribbon with it. Gorgeous. You guys have tons of ideas. Ruth Bingle made that card. The hats. Gotta love the hats and the well-dressed. All right, who made this card? Jessica Brigden. Look at that. That's from the lily pad paper. Don't you love how she pulled all those colors together? <coughs> you know I love that. That is in your face. Looks like Melon Mambo. So stinking pretty. Pop that up. She stamped it. And then she's come back and stamped it again. And then punched it. And so she's got... It raised up. Adorable. Jessica Bigden. Brigden. Look at this one. This is. Looks like petal pink again. See how she's done this in petal pink. And she has stamped hers in silver embossing. And done her flowers. The designer series paper is from the Parisian designer series paper. So you see how all these things pull together, you guys? That silver foil. She's done this in silver foil too, which if you want a little barrier when you're using your uh, blends or your markers or your watercolor pencils, that's a great way to do that. I know that it's just, yeah, they're gorgeous. And that was made by Judy Garza. Judy Garza made that pretty little. See how it's popped up? Oh, too cute. This card was created by Karen Titus. This is a super, super simple. If you needed something quickly, she just stamped it. She's fussy cut this out and put a piece of designer series paper down. If you need something really cute, you could use any kind of designer series paper. Just do a little coloring, throw on some gems, some rhinestone gems, and there you go. Get that down here where you can see it. So like I said, you can gussy it up, or you could dress it down, whatever makes you happy. All right, this card is made by Angie Leach, and check that out. This is Rich Razzleberry. And she's used a strip of copper foil here with some of the Flowering Foils Designer Series paper. She stamped 
this element from the tags in bloom in copper then she's gone back and she stamped this layer because if you look here see this is one this is the background she's done in the copper and then this has the stitched look which is here okay she's done that in silver then she's punched this one out with the coordinating punch and then stamped happiness looks gorgeous on you which is right here she's done that in rich razzleberry as well and then she's colored in her clear rhinestone gems with rich razzleberry blends i'm sure beautiful 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 and then this ribbon is in the mini catalog the petal pink gorgeous absolutely stunning so those are all of my shares from the new release that you can grab today i put all the links up at the top so if you've got your list ready to shop you can shop and then you'll know what you want to pick and uh, that should help you out let me flip you up and around here hang on to your drawers all right so yeah i want to make sure that you use the hostess code so you can get the free pdf if your order is 40 to 199 149.99 to 150 and above because you want to get a bunch of celebration items for free and your stamping rewards don't put the code in. I'll still send it to you. There's no worries there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my swap reveal today and a little bit of tips and tidbits I shared with you along the way. Like I said, tomorrow will be a very long post. I will have every single card pictured separately with the person who designed its name because I want them to have full credit. And uh, I will try and give you a little bit of extra information on the a shirt card uh, on some of the cuts there to help you guys out but uh, yeah don't dilly dally because there are uh, all these items are going to be available through the 31st but I'm quite sure a bunch of them will go early all right because uh, everybody's been waiting for this group and we've got less than a month so everybody's going to be picking the same things at this point so I hope you guys are going to jump back on here tonight with me at seven o'clock central time where we'll be crafting till the cows come home like I said, in case you missed it, I'm going to be making a version of this adorable lipstick pen holder using the Dress to Impress. And uh, tonight is my team meeting, so I uh, will be, it'll be a quick one tonight. We will definitely be done by 7.30. So mock your calendar, set your alarm, come back, get another dose of Michelle here at the Scott Farm at 7 o'clock tonight, Central Time. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope all these people and ladies have inspired you and given you wonderful ideas on ways to use the fabulous new celebration items. I will see you guys back here at 7 o'clock tonight. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farms. Bye, guys. <laughs>